President Biden delivers a fiery speech in the battleground state of Michigan today in front of a crowd of supporters. The president defiantly claimed that he was, quote, not going anywhere and then went on the attack against his rival, former President Trump. And despite the president's stronger appearance in Detroit, the calls for him to step aside are only growing louder. John Fanilio, live in our news center tonight with the latest on that. John? Sure, Rick, that's right. This was the most energized we have seen President Biden in quite some time, a notable departure from his halting debate performance late last month. Michigan, of course, is a critical swing state. Tonight, the president telling the Detroit crowd that he is staying in the race. He also didn't hold back, slamming former President Trump. Motown is Joe Town, and it is. President Biden back on the campaign trail in Battleground, Michigan, again making it clear he's not dropping out of the race. Is he going to stay in the race? Is he going to drop out? Where's my son? I am running and we're going to win. Despite concerns about his age, the president is trying to reassure voters and his own party he can beat Donald Trump and serve another term. I'm the nominee of the Democratic Party, the only Democrat or Republican has beaten Donald Trump ever. And I'm going to beat him again. Donald Trump is a loser. Following his dismal debate performance late last month, 18 House Democrats and one senator have publicly called on the president to step down, including California Congressman Mike Levin, who reportedly told the president directly in a phone call Friday it was time to end his campaign. Abs absolutely not. But most Democratic officials, like California Governor Gavin Newsom, continue to publicly support Biden. Newsom telling CBS News he has not even thought about becoming the nominee if the president withdraws. God, I know one thing, everything you do in private becomes public. Uh, even private thoughts seem to manifest publicly, so not a chance. The New York Times is reporting that a Biden super PAC is withholding $90 million over concerns that Biden can't win re-election. And House Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries reportedly met with the president Friday, but did not offer his endorsement. Former President Trump posting on social media, Joe should immediately take a cognitive test and I will go with him and take one also. President Biden offering this message before his Detroit rally. There's more to do. I know I'm only 41. <laughs> we got to finish the job. And, uh, and uh, I promise you, uh, I am, uh, I'm okay. Thank you. All right, former President Trump is set to hold a campaign rally in Pennsylvania tomorrow, just two days before next week's Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Many now waiting to see if Trump will announce his choice for vice president at the convention. Meantime, President Biden will sit down for another one-on-one -on -one interview Monday with NBC News anchor Lester Holt. Election day, just a little more than three and a half months out. Share Rick, back to you. All right, John, thanks for that.